What's really good, people? Welcome back. Hope you can hear me. I have this 2017 Dodge Charger SXT. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, I hope everything is good with you. Uh, I'm going to show you how to do the oil change and how to reset the oil life. All right, so stay tuned. Let's do it. Shout out to everybody. I right? even the haters. I love you too. All right, let's get this to it. Yeah. Right here, you see a baby. You're going to come down here. That's how you open the hood. All right. Come to the front. Right here, right in the middle. There's a latch. Push it to the side. This is for those that don't know anything about this, all right? Now here, that's the oil filter, all right? Oil cap, engine oil cap. It's gonna tell you what type of oil it takes. That's 520, okay? That's the uh, oil, to check the oil level, oil dipstick. All right. Windshield fill, reservoir, fuse spots. This is how you uh, boost the car when it's dead. All right. The ground goes here. Uh, power goes here, okay? Just gotta pop this. It tells you right here, too. All right. Uh, Coolant reservoir, antifreeze, whatever you want to call it. Engine L filter. Here's the uh, brake fluid reservoir. It also tells you right there. Okay. All right, let's do it. If you also, uh, let me pull my mic over here. Though. I guess you can hear hear me better like that, right? Let me get my gloves on. Uh, this is a 3.6 liter VVT. All right. It's the same, uh, let me just pop this, okay, this is how it, how it looks like, alright, right here, so you can see the action, for that filter it's going to be a 24 millimeter socket, Okay, 24 millimeter socket. This engine reminds me uh, uh, I think the Pro Master. Uh, what other? The Pro Master, I think, used this type of uh, engine to. Uh, what else? Uh, what, what's the other one? The Chrysler? I forgot the name. Chrysler used this engine too. Yeah. I mean... It's not that crazy for me. For you, I don't know. Maybe you just like the body. Let, let me know what you think about this uh, this car. I'm saying because the engine is the same. The body, I think, is like it's just the body changed. Uh, 
that made sense? You know what I think though? I mean, I didn't go deep into this car. It's just the body change, obviously. And it's still the same engine. Do you think that's, I mean, obviously that's how the, uh, these car companies make money, you know what I'm saying? Because I don't see, I don't see nothing crazy about, I don't see no difference. The engine is still the same. You know what I'm saying? Put it in the comment box, let me know what you think. If, if I go really deep into the car, like, you know, the setup and all that, then I will tell you, you know what? But, oh, this is the oil filter, okay? This is how it looks like. No biggie. I could put the uh, oil filter now, but I'm gonna leave it open. So uh, when I drain the oil, I have I have a uh, better flow. Let's go to the bottom. Uh, if you come here to the bottom, you're gonna see uh, this cover. You just read it. Remove four engine service. Uh, torque bolts to 35 inch pounds. Four Newton. Right. This one too. So, so it's four. Okay. It tells you one, four, two, three. Five. Sorry for the background noise. I want to try to uh, raise my voice. <sighs> that's a heater, by the way. Okay, that noise you hear, that's a heater. <sighs> Powered by. Uh, Use oil. All right. Okay. It doesn't matter. It, it doesn't matter the order. It tells you one over there, two over here, three over here. It doesn't matter the order. You see, I have to remove the cover, right? Did that later. Just like that, alright? Now, if you come through, this how it looks like. This is the uh, oil drain plug, okay? Something like a 13. What do you think? Put it in the comment box. Let's drain. Yep, it's 13. 13 millimeter. Right. Oh, look! <laughs> the previous uh, guy that I did the service, I just forgot to tighten it. What do you think about that oil? Oh, I forgot to tell you how many miles this, this car has. And, uh, well, I'll let you know that later. When I pour the new oil, when I bring the car down, uh, if you wanna like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let, I'm gonna let it drain for a minute, okay? Because a lot of people are like, yo, you know what? There's still a lot of oil, and yeah, there's, there's gonna be, there's gonna be some oil, uh, even though you drain most of it, and you're gonna see some drops. If you don't want to see drops at all, uh, do the oil change uh, before you go to sleep. You know what I'm saying? In your garage, in your drive through what, Whatever you, you're going to do the oil change. But before you do that, you know, warm up the car, let the engine get hot, and uh, that's a better way to... Uh, uh, drain the oil but there's a better way uh, what you can do is pour some uh, diesel in the engine rather where you pour the uh, the oil 
pour the pour some uh, pour a quarter of this one, maybe a little bit, half a half a quarter, and in the engine. Okay, put the oil cap back. Let the car run idle for I don't know a few minutes, two minutes, something like that. So, uh, three minutes, something like that. So the uh, diesel do its thing. You see? Rinse the whole engine. You see? And uh, you gotta do it when the car is hot, though. Okay? Don't do it when it's cold. You do it when it's hot. hot. And, uh, then pull the diesel. Let it, let, let it idle for two, three minutes. And then uh, uh, drain the oil, and most of it's gonna come out. Okay, that's how you do it. I'm gonna let it drain. I'm gonna do something else. I'll be back. Right then, I, I drain most of the oil. You see that people are still gonna look at the dripping. They're gonna be like, "Yo, yeah, you didn't drain all the oil." Wrong. I've been draining this for post 10 minutes. All right, so like I said, if you want to drink most of the oil, do what I just told you a few minutes ago. And after this, I'm gonna put the cover back and uh, go to the top of the engine bay and for the new one. Uh, I'm gonna use this filter made by Parts Master. There's a part number right there. All right. The filter and the old ring. So it's okay which one first it doesn't matter. Old ring. Make sure it goes where it where it gotta go, okay? Like right here. You see you see it. See it. Okay, right there. Now, just to, just to make it easier, I'm gonna spray some uh, WD-40, okay? You can do some, uh, you can do some uh, uh, oil, but for me, I think this is better, you know what I'm saying? Now, what I'm gonna do now is uh, put it back. All uh, right, tie it, okay, with the 24 millimeter socket. All uh, When the tightening is snug, I right? usually tells you over here uh, how much uh, the torque specification for this uh, oil filter uh, cap. All right. So now I'm gonna pour the oil. But let me tell you, just in case, for those tor torque freaks, this one says 25 Newton, okay? 25 Newton, all right? Let me pour the oil in there. All right, this 3.6 is gonna take uh, five quarts, all right? Five W20, okay? Pretty much. Hey, I want to give shout outs. I know I didn't do it in the beginning. Maybe I did, but I'm, I want to do it again. Shout outs to uh, everybody, the family members, uh, com community, the community, uh, viewers, subscribers, uh, everybody, even haters. Uh, you know, the whole planet. 
from Japan to Peru, Brazil, Colombia, Argentina, Chile, everybody, you know what I'm saying? Uh, now I pull five quarts, all right? And I'm gonna let it run for a minute. Okay, I'm gonna let I'm gonna idle the car now. Let's just push start. Okay. I'm gonna let it run for a minute. So the oil goes through the system. Enough, so, uh, I'm gonna shut it down and uh, check the oil level. Okay, Let's see. I'm gonna give it a minute so the oil go down because you know. And I pour five, five quarts, okay? It's empty. And just a little bit though. It's over here, it's supposed to be over here. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour one more quarter. Cause I think that's the right amount. Alright. That's what I'm gonna do now. This should be good enough. Let's see. Is it a six and a half? Kind of look like it. I give it a minute so it go down. Yeah, let's see, six and a half. Yeah, I'm pouring the oil in the, uh, in the engine. Not on the engine, in the engine, all right? In the filler neck. Guys, come on. What you think I am? I'm what? Say it again, what? Oh, okay. So you say something else. Stop playing with me. There you go. Pretty much six and a half. Let me show it to you. There you go. All right. You see it right here, right? Six and a half. Okay. So we're Gucci. The oil cap back. The uh, cover back. You should spray some uh, WD forty so it slide in pulls. Oh come on, walk me. I don't see the oil life now.
Yi. Yeah, I'm going to show you how to reset the oil lamp. Come on. When you start the car, I'm going to start it now. Charger. You see. That message? Okay, we're gonna we're gonna delete that message, okay? So for that, remember this is Dutch, right? Made by Jeep, Chrysler, whatever. I'm gonna shut it down. Okay. Press this twice. One, two. Now you see the uh, the gas pedal? Step on it three times. One, two, three. Okay. Now we're gonna start the car. Step on the brake. Press the start button. And the message is gone. All right. I hope you like this video. I hope you like this video. I hope you enjoy. And uh, if you have any questions, just put in the comment box. Huh? Let me know how you feel about this car. Is it fast? Is it like the what you thought it was going to be? I'm saying put in the comment box. Let me know all that. All right. And uh, you know how, how to uh, contribute to the channel, right? You see the car? Go that. Uh, smash the subscribe button, like the video, share the video, the feedback, put in the comment box. Um, and that's it. I'm clacking now. I'm out deep. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.